Hello, good morning everyone. Today we discuss on gravitation chapter. In this chapter, first we define law of gravitation. Law of gravitation. In short, we say U and V, U and V, universal law of gravitation. According to this law, every body in the universe attracts every body with a force called gravitational force which is directly proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the distance between them. That is, we can say that two bodies are M1 and M2, M1 and M2 and distance between them is R. Then gravitational force F is directly proportional to the product of their masses. Equation number first. And gravitational force is also inversely proportional to the square of distance between them. Equation number two. Thus we find F directly inversely proportional to M1 M2 by R square. And hence, F equal capital G, M1, M2 by R square, where G is, where G is universal gravitation constant. Constant. Law of gravitation or universal law of gravitation defined now we define ULG Everybody in the universe attract attract other bodies with a force with a force which is Directly proportional to the mass and inversely, inversely proportional to the square of distance. This is called ULG. Write down. Now we define the characteristics of gravitational force. First point, it is non-contact force, it is always not contact force. Gravitational force is non-contact force. And second point, it is always attractive in nature. is always attractive in nature and third point it is directly depends 
on mass it is directly depends on mass and for it is inversely depends on the square of the square of distance this is the main postulates of gravitational force take a screen shot now we discuss on kepler's law of planetary motion there are basically three law of kepler let us consider first law first law second law third law first law second law third law first law is known as law of rb law of rb and second law of law of and third law is also known as law of periods kepler's law of planetary motions are basically three first law is also known as law of orbits second law is known as law of areas third law is known as law of period now we discuss this law on second class 